sweater season is finally upon us. Sweater weather. <laughs> I should probably explain. I look hella shiny. I'm not sweaty, I swear. It's cold outside now. And um, I'm wearing my GD Mountain Korea honey mask. So if I look a little dewy, I'm not sweaty. I'm trying to moisturize. Not sponsored by the way, just throwing that out there. <laughs> Kombucha. What's up idols, it's CC Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hoa 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 season. I love this time of year. I love the burr months. I love putting on a sweater and needing a sweater. This story time is a doozy. Um, I know the title might seem a bit dramatic and it might be a bit much, but it is a love story ultimately. It's one of those things where like, you have to go through the BS to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And this is the first because they actually wrote this email together. So we're gonna call them Eugene and Rapunzel from Tangled. So she wrote her POV stuff and he wrote his POV stuff and where they overlap. So we get information from his point of view, her point of view, and how this crazy ex almost ruined it all or tried to ruin it all. She wasn't really gonna have any significant impact, let's be real. You you let me know if you think she was jealous or racist, maybe a little bit of both. But before we get into this, I want to invite you guys to check out my Patreon because the one that just uploaded a few days ago was a hookup in Busan. A girl and her friend were out on vacation, they were on the beach, they met a boy, so they went from the beach to the hotel room. Here's a clip. Even though I already knew he was cute before, but I started to feel like I wanted him. Like wanted him, wanted him. He wasn't even the pervy one. I was. He was actually pretty modest, which made me want him more. He definitely reciprocated if that makes sense though, but he wasn't too forward about it. So the night is passing by and I'm running out of time. Say I'm there for you but I'm out of time. I told him I was tired and asked him if he could escort me back to my hotel, but I said it in a suggestive way and I think he got the meaning. He asked my friend how much time we had and I almost had another one of those anime nosebleed moments. <laughs> she said, as much time as we need, just message her when it's safe for her to come back in. We got a taxi back to the beach where my hotel was. And the first thing we did was go for a walk in the sand to sober up and get some air because we were in some stuffy, smoky clubs all night. There was still so much people on the beach. So it's not as romantic as you might think it is. There were people playing music, drinking by the looks of it, and daring each other to run into the ocean with their clothes on. After a bit of this, we went back to my room. Sun started to seem hesitant, so in another role reversal, I asked him if he was okay and told him he could leave if he wanted to, but he said that he wanted me since he saw me in the kimbap shop. First he asked if I wanted a foot rub, hell yes I did. I returned and gave him a back rub, but I made him take his shirt off first. And the next one I'm uploading, simply, the, this, the header of the email was platinum dick in Korea. What do you mean by that? I'm not gonna lie, as I was reading it, I was just kind of like, it's gonna be a little hard for me to say this stuff because it's so graphic. Definitely not able to put on YouTube. So if you wanna check out more story times like that, the ones that I cannot put on YouTube because I will get demonetized, I will get flagged, all that stuff, then check out my Patreon, the link is down below. Damn, I really am shiny. Uh, this mask works though. Why would I put on a, a mask right before filming? I'm stupid. All right, so into the love story between Eugene and Rapunzel. Rapunzel wanted to note that she is black, though I will say it's another one of those stories where based on some of the details and the remarks, you can kind of already you already, you, you'll know, you know she's black, based on the things they say to her. They also warned me not to name this girl. They said, look, I hear you're about to come back to Korea. We don't want no smoke. We don't want to get in trouble. We don't want to get you in trouble. Her fans are kind of uh, crazy. So don't mention her. Don't even name her. Just loosely talk about her. So that's what we're going to do. So anyway, Eugene and Rapunzel met each other through a mutual friend on a blind date. Rapunzel said her being a foreigner in Korea really didn't help her situation and her only real way to try to meet people who spoke English was on dating apps, but we all know I'm not even going to repeat myself. And Eugene's situation is he was in a very toxic and unhealthy and controlling relationship. So when they finally broke up, everybody wanted him to move on and find someone new and better immediately. And from what I gather, this ex was possessive, controlling, manipulative, narcissist, just toxic. She wouldn't even let him talk to his mom. She didn't like when he talked to his own mother. He wasn't allowed to hang out with girls who were friends anymore. And that's why this mutual friend wasn't even, because she's a girl, she wasn't even able to talk to Eugene or hang out with him like that anymore. How do you not like your man talking to his own mother? That's weird. Don't, don't you dare! So Rapunzel met this mutual friend online, like a pen pal language exchange situation. 
and Eugene knows her from work. And because his mutual friend knows them both, she's like, you know what? I think I know someone you should meet. Like you guys would hit it off. So they agreed to meet with each other and the sparks flew instantly. They had so much in common. They both like spicy food. They like rock climbing. They also like to be really active and fit and they work out a lot. They like manhwas and they also like painting, which is something they like to do together now. And basically they kept surprising each other with how much they had in common and how easy they were getting along. So for their first date, they met up for sushi and then they went on a bike ride and they rode bikes for hours. They're both very active and fit. They have that in common. And one thing Eugene really liked about Rapunzel is it's their first date and they're biking for hours. And he liked the fact that she didn't mind him seeing her all sweaty, limited to no makeup. And he was like, I can see your natural beauty. Like you're not covering anything up or it would sweat away. So the mutual friend was proud. She's like, I did it. Call me Cupid. I made a love connection here. So this mutual friend though, she's also very familiar with his ex like they all used to be friends before she developed that no girlfriend rule no female friend rule and this ex happens to be an influencer in korea she has 70,000 followers on tiktok and 10,000 followers on instagram she makes content that's about like fashion and makeup and she does a few couple videos here and there like her and her boyfriend eugene when they were together used to do like matching outfits couple outfits things like that so he'd be on her social media sometimes this is gonna be very important for later in the story and eugene thinks that the reason she was such a narcissist and such a control freak is because of the following she had on social media, like her fans were very dedicated to her. Anyway, because of this new happy dynamic, the mutual friend wanted to meet with all of them all together. It was like, oh, we gotta have lunch, we gotta celebrate, I wanna see my work in person. And that sounds like fun, but when the three of them met up, of course there was drama, we're making this video for a reason. So a little bit of a backstory. In the days following like the immediate breakup between Eugene and his ex, the ex did reach out to the mutual friend because again, they all used to know each other before she said, you can't hang out with girls anymore. When they broke up, Eugene had blocked the ex from social media, cacao, all that stuff. So she had no way of contacting him directly. So she tried to go through the mutual friend to get in touch with him. He even privated his social media so she couldn't see what he was doing anymore. Like if she got creepy and tried to make another account or had somebody watch him for her. So when the mutual friend got a message from the ex, she was intrigued. She knew how happy Eugene and Rapunzel were together. So she wasn't worried. She was more like, hmm. I choose violence and opened it and decided to see what the ex had to say. So basically the ex was trying to find some way, somebody to help her get in touch with Eugene again. And she left her on red, she didn't respond to her. So when she ignored her, the ex got all bitchy and rude and started to insult her. She called her a cow, she called her ugly, all these sorts of things. So this is when the mutual friend said, okay, you know what, I'ma clap back. And this is when she told her, you need to move on, let it go, he found someone better than you, she's prettier than you, he's allowed to have girls again, he's allowed to talk to his mom. Damn! like move on you're a loser type shit and we know of all this because when the three of them met up for lunch and this is a little like i'm trying to keep up as best as i can so when the three of them met up for lunch and the mutual friend got to see eugene and rapunzel happy together in person she's all like oh my god this is so great but she also said so i've got some drama look at what your ex sent me and she showed eugene and rapunzel now rapunzel was kind of like huh funny like that's kind of crazy she wasn't really giving it much of a second thought but Eugene seemed concerned and worried and he told the mutual friend block her don't talk to her anymore private your account whatever like do not engage with her and he had worry for good reason so yeah Rapunzel's Kiki and she thinks it's funny and Eugene's like run he's telling her hey do not provoke my ex please like this could get real ugly real quick and it's about to but um again the mutual friend chose violence. I choose violence. So while they were out having their lunch together, she took a picture of the three of them all happy together and she decided to post it on her story. The mutual friend, she posted this picture on her story. She mentioned Eugene, she mentioned Rapunzel and put it on a story and it's public. So now the ex has seen that. As time is going on, things are going really well between Rapunzel and Eugene. Rapunzel's on her Instagram story and stuff, posting sweet messages and like little soft launches about, oh, you know, I found a great guy. And it's true that they're, all the good guys aren't gone yet. Like I happen to find one, he seems so good to be true. How did the ex fumble such a great guy? This new guy's amazing, those types of things. So eventually after a few months of dating, Rapunzel did post a picture of her and Eugene together on her social media account. Now her social media used to be public and this is when things took a turn. She started getting random messages in Korean and English that were just awful, calling her ugly, a black monkey, a whore, fat, 
telling her to leave Korea. All these horrible things and she had no idea why. At first she's like, okay, I guess people are a little uncomfortable seeing a black girl and a Korean guy. Maybe they're just hateful trolls, whatever. She didn't think too much of it at first, but she started to get bombarded with these messages and her account started to get flagged a lot. Like people were trying to remove her account like IG prison. And this is when she knew something was up because trolls is one thing, you know, but if somebody, a group of people are trying to remove your account, like something else is going on. So with all this happening, Rapunzel goes to the mutual friend and her boyfriend shows her these comments and the messages. She's like screenshotting it before she deletes it. And she's like, guys, what is going on? Like, why is all this in Korean? I don't even understand half this stuff. So after hearing the situation, Eugene knew exactly what was going on. Eugene went to his ex-girlfriend's TikTok and this bitch uploaded a whole who the fuck did I marry style series on how this foreign girl stole her boyfriend. This bitch! Saying that she caught him cheating on her, they were about to get married, they were perfectly happy, and then this foreigner ruined everything. But not only that, this ex dropped Rapunzel's at and also put pictures of Rapunzel in her own video about her. And she had her at because the mutual friend posted all of them together and tagged them in her story. So in this video, the ex says, oh, we were so happy and we were about to get married and you saw the, the content we made together. You see how happy we were. Like that's supposed to be evidence of a truly happy relationship. People put their best self online anyway, because of course she failed to mention that she's controlling and she's a narcissist and he's not allowed to talk to his mom and he's not allowed to talk to girls. And if everything's not about her, then something's wrong and she needs constant validation and he's neglecting her. and. Yeah, don't mention that online to your fans at all. But suddenly the ex says that her boyfriend went for being perfect and they were planning to be married. Suddenly he was staying out with no excuse or reason. And because of that, she decided to go through his phone and she found pictures and messages of this new girl, AKA Rapunzel. And in these messages, Rapunzel allegedly said, she'll be single soon and you'll be mine talking to eugene i'm prettier than her i want more soon she's nothing she doesn't have to know last night was fun just the most dramatic k-drama soap opera telenovela stuff you can even imagine and when the ex confronted eugene about these messages he denied it so the ex decided to break up with him and Eugene was desperate to get the ex back. This is everything she's saying in her who the fuck did I marry style video on TikTok to her fans and her followers. So that's the ex's version of the story and you can only imagine what the comments look like on her videos. These comments were worse than what people were saying on Rapunzel's page. They called her Kamdungi, which is often translated as the Korean N-word, just a barrage of racial slurs at Rapunzel. And they showered the ex with sympathy and, oh my God, you're way better than her. You're an angel. She looks manly. She's ugly. You're pretty. You're so skinny. She's fat. She's dark. The ex is an idiot for choosing that ape over you. She looks old, but you glow. You're feminine. She's manly. Things like that. By the way, not that it really matters, but I've seen the pictures of Rapunzel. She's not even dark. Like she is not a dark skinned woman. She's pretty light, maybe a little bit darker than me, but it just goes to show you like if you're not pale white, then you're dark in Korea. She's also a fitness girl. Like her and Eugene bonded over their love for fitness and activity, but they called her fat. So it doesn't take much to be called fat in Korea either, apparently. They even left comments on the ex's video saying, suggesting that Rapunzel should end her own life. Why? And the reason this hate was being brought on Rapunzel's page is because some of them decided to take it from her TikTok to Rapunzel's Instagram and just target her directly because again, she was added in these videos. So Eugene messaged his ex immediately like, are you fucking insane? delete those videos. Did you think we wouldn't find out about this? And like, it's so easy to prove that you are lying. This did not happen. He even said, why would you risk being so dumb? But the ex played the victim and she stuck to her story. You're the one who cheated on me. Why should I delete the videos? I'm in disbelief, this bitch. You broke my heart when you ended things suddenly, which is a contradiction because in her video, she claimed that she dumped him and he wanted her back desperately. The math ain't mathin. Boom. So with a better understanding of what was going on, Eugene told Rapunzel like, look, I am so sorry. My ex found out about us. She made a video series about you and how you stole me from her and how I cheated on her. And now her fans hate us because of this lie. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? So naturally, Rapunzel was stunned and just shattered by all this hate coming at her for no reason. She did her best to defend herself. Like, you guys don't even know the story. Like, they were 
were broken up before I even met him or knew who he was. We met through a mutual friend, but no matter what she said, they would leave comments telling her, you used your body to steal a man, you couldn't get your own, leave Korea. He's not yours, you're happily flaunting this man that's not yours. And eventually she made her account private and stopped accepting any sort of follower request. And after all this, the mutual friend naturally felt quite awful about this because she chose violence and had to post the pictures of them together and it put Rapunzel's information out there. And that's when the harassment began. But one good thing is the mutual friend kept all of the messages from when the ex was trying to get in touch with Eugene. So there's some evidence showing what an awful person this ex-girlfriend is, the lies, because if you dumped him and he's desperate to get you back, why are you reaching out to the mutual friend to try and get in touch with him after he blocked you in private of his accounts? And these will indeed come in handy soon, these screenshots, these messages, these DMs. So a few days went by and they kind of just hoped things would naturally just die down because it, it's the internet, it eventually does. But it got worse because this bitch made another video, this time with the conversation when Eugene messaged the ex saying like, are you fucking insane, delete the videos. And she's playing the victim like, you cheated on me, why should I delete the video? She made those messages public in a video. That is the reason she chose to stick to her story of being the innocent victim because she knew she was gonna make it public. And here's the thing though, those DMs that she posted publicly were altered because she left out the part where he said, you're lying and it's easy to prove you're lying. That part of their conversation was conveniently left out. He's thinking he could show the real ones, the full conversation, but she could always say those are fake as well. He wanted to do something to stop these lies from spreading, but like, what can you do when she has such a large following and they believe her? So he got to the point where he decided to threaten to sue the ex. Now, he said he knew he didn't actually want to take it that far, but he hoped the threat would stop her. Like this whole thing was getting completely ridiculous. So she did eventually stop making new videos about the situation. Like she didn't talk about Rapunzel and Eugene anymore. But the problem is the older videos were starting to get a lot more views. You know, not a whole lot. It was like a few thousand, maybe like 10,000, not quite a million or anything, but that's still a lot of messages when these people are hating you for no reason and they feel compelled to find you and send hate your way and tell you to end your life. You know, like that's a lot of people. Ultimately though, the mutual friend was able to convince Eugene to make a video denouncing everything and like setting the story straight. He doesn't have any significant social media presence, but because he was in a few of her videos, like they know what he looks like and everything. So to get traction to his TikTok about her, he started to try to go in her comments on the video and say, here's the truth, check out my profile if you wanna know more, here's an update sort of thing. And it actually did start to gain traction. Even the people who left like mean comments on Rapunzel's IG directly, because she screenshot these before she deleted them, he typed in their ads, sent them messages like, here's the full story, here's what actually happened. And it was a, tick a link to his TikTok. And this was working at first, but eventually the ex started to delete the comments he was leaving on her TikTok videos. And then she blocked him. What you say? God, the drama. But yeah, it started to gain some traction and it did get to the point where people started to recognize the inconsistencies in her story versus his how he had screenshots and evidence and everything he said just made more sense because it was the truth. Like why would the ex lash out at a mutual friend for trying to get in touch with Eugene even though she claims that he wants her back so why is she reaching out to try to get him back? And the thing with TikTok that I really don't like and one of the reasons I stopped using it, I feel like the most random videos will get removed while the most random videos get to stay up. Like some videos that are clearly very inappropriate towards certain audiences, some that are offensive, like highly offensive and racist, some those get to stay up for some reason and then the most random ones get taken down. So they tried for a while to get these videos taken down. They're like, she's harassing me, she's bullying me, she's naming me, she's calling me out. And after a few weeks, they finally got the videos taken down. And it's crazy because those videos were only live for a few weeks, but Rapunzel said it felt like months and years with all the harassment coming her way. Like she felt low, she felt very insecure and she felt really really sad so the video that eugene posted on his tiktok got enough traction where people wanted an update they wanted a follow-up so for this eugene and the mutual friend sat down and they kind of talked about the situation a little bit more together and that's when the mutual friend was like look i was friends with everybody in the picture i'm friends with rapunzel i'm friends with eugene i was friends with the ex and when they broke up I thought he would like my friend Rapunzel and that's how it happened. I set them up. That's why she got mad at me for posting a picture of us. Like it all made sense. And she said she got careless because she decided to at Rapunzel and that's where all this trouble started. She did not find her messaging him like, she'll be single and you'll be mine soon. I want more. She's nothing compared to me. Like that never happened. Oh, 
Disgusting shit. And again, everything that this ex said, she had no proof of. Like, there was no video, no screenshots, nothing. It was just her word and her tears. So the ex was kind of canceled. Well, like, not canceled, canceled, but she lost some followers. Not a significant amount, but she lost some. Like, of course, there's always going to be people who believe her. It's easy to hop on the all men suck train or the foreigners are bad bandwagon. And of course, this beautiful, wholesome, honest Korean woman is the true victim. She wouldn't lie to us. <laughs> So Rapunzel has left her account private to this day. She has no plans to make it public anytime soon because she never knows if somebody's gonna come back and start harassing her again. And the ex got mad at them for getting her videos removed. She keeps saying that she's gonna get his video removed, but they didn't do anything worth getting the video removed. Like nothing violated the terms of service. They didn't name her, they didn't dox her, they didn't show her a picture, nothing that alluded to her identity directly. And that's another reason why they told me not to mention her in this video, not to give her a name, not to hint at who she could be, which is really annoying. It's crazy to me how you can say all this stuff about a girl you never met. You can send all this hate to a complete stranger. And it's not like these hateful, racist comments, she would delete them. She hearted them. Me familiar faces. So at this point, Rapunzel and Eugene have been dating for almost a year. The ex hasn't bothered them directly or contacted them directly yet, but they're almost positive that she's still saying some shit about them because of course she is. But she's trying to be more careful apparently to not mention them directly to get any more videos flagged or removed for violating terms of service. It's sad that so much time has passed and she is still hung up on this boy. And it is really frustrating and annoying how quick people can default to racism. Like, don't know anything about this girl, never did nothing to you but you're so quick to call her a monkey and a kamdungi and ugly and masculine and dark like bruh bruh grass is outside go touch it please get reacquainted but honestly all of this does make sense based on the fact that she's described as a narcissist to openly and boldly lie without any fears of repercussions always plays the victim no matter what fans will defend you no matter what bringing out the worst racism and hatefulness out of people does that sound familiar <laughs> I'm happy that Eugene can have girl friends again. Yoja man chingudu dashi. He was allowed to email me and I'm a girl. I'm, I'm happy about that. He's allowed to talk to his mom again and I hope Rapunzel can get over this and just please ignore the hateful trolls online. Like there's so many, it's unavoidable. Sadly, people don't have anything better to do. That's why trolls don't bother me. Even when you see them down here in the comments on my videos, it does not bother me. Don't take what those ass turds said to heart, girl. But I get it, sometimes it's hard not to. So yeah, that was uh, how a bitter, Korean influencer ex tried to get in the way of a new happy fruitful relationship. You let me know in the comments if you think she was racist or jealous or maybe both. If you want to see more of these foreigner dating and Korea story times, check the playlist. It's about to pop up on the end screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Annyeong!